guys thanks for joining me once again it's Omashala for Swan Beauty I'm so glad you're here thank God for the gift of life um, today um, I showed you how to do how I do my eyebrows I know many people know how to do their eyebrows but you know just my own style of doing my eyebrows I decided to show you into this tutorial so it's like I started from the scratch today and um, you know every a few people have problems with making their eyebrows look equal even though everybody knows the the uh, um, sorry everybody knows the uh, advantage of using the concealer you know but I just want to highlight a few points about using the concealer um, first of all I like to note that the eyebrows are not you know they're not um, twins your eyebrows are sisters you know so they most likely will not be the same for most people uh, for some people they look almost the same for some people it's like they are totally different so um, like I said there has been that corrective measure of using the concealer to kind of get them to look the same so like I said I'm going to I want to highlight a few points you know about using the concealer so um, okay let me start from the reason why the eyebrows won't be the same um, the eyebrows won't be the same because um, most of the time you know our body is uh, the, the way the body system is the left hand side um, is always like finer you know the left nails are finer the left leg is a bit thinner than the right leg um, the right leg is bigger sometimes your right foot might not enter into your shoe might not fit into your shoe properly um, you know if you notice properly many things on your right a bit different slightly from the one on the left so and that the reason is that the heart pumps blood you know you know everybody knows the circulation system we, we did that in biology yeah the heart pumps blood first on the left hand side and then it circulates you know all over to the right hand side you know so I believe that's the reason why the brows are not totally the same so in correcting that it starts majorly from shaping the eyebrow when you get the shape of the eyebrow right in when you're carving it with the uh, blade or you tweeze or you thread or you or you wax whatever however you you know take off excess hair on your brow you have to make sure that they look almost the same I mean the the, the person curve carving the brows has to you know use his or her expertise you know experience to make sure that he, he or she carves the eyebrows the right way so your eyebrows have to be carved to look almost the same because makeup alone will not get you to look that the same if they weren't carved right in the first place. So I advise that eyebrows are well carved from you know, the scratch. So when the eyebrows are well carved, then we can now talk about okay, using your pencil or your eyebrow filler, all that. So I majorly use pencil. You know, I use eyebrow fillers sometimes, or I use my eyebrow fillers on my pencil or your eyebrow definer, whatever, it could be a gel, it could be powder from gel and powder, you know, so any any form it comes in. So I like I said, I use pencils. So I make sure my pencils are well sharpened. So I, I use my pencil to define the shape of my brows, to follow the exact line. So once I get that, I fill it in, I brush with my spoolie brush or my mascara wand however you call it um, and then I just make sure it has this natural finish and then we now move on to the um, concealer now I believe that the concealer does three things for you first it highlights your brows like it's um, you know it highlights it it brings light to the brow bone you know that's the first thing that's why you can use a lighter shade of concealer so it, it, you know, it's eliminate that your area of your brow bone and then the second thing is that it actually cleans off you know the brow like when you after you know um, after having to use your pencil and then you use your spoolie brush and all that then you know sometimes there might be some excesses your spoolie might have you know just kind of messed it up a bit so you, you want to clean up with your concealer so it cleans up 
you know for you and it also helps you in making sure that they look the same that's why some people when they are trying to get their eyebrows or um, use the concealer to you know carve their eyebrows they kind of first of all make it like a unibrow the concept of that is to make sure that one is not up here and the other is down there that's why some people do that i mean i believe that if you like like me i don't have to do it's like almost like a unibrow i can take it up to a point but not closing up because i figure that some people end up not taking off the excess you know you clean it off you nobody wants to go on like <laughs> wearing a unibrow or having a unibrow so it's better you clean it i think some people don't clean it off or they feel they clean it off and it's not you know enough so so my point is i don't do it up to that but if you are sure that you can't get it right you know just by looking at the brows if you want to use your concealer to do like a unibrow so that the brows are like the same then go ahead but don't forget to clean it off you know and <laughs> separate the brows and not all that and it's always nice to have like a lighter finish in front you know because naturally your brows go out they grow out so nobody has like a thick brow from beginning the grout even people who have like almost like a unibrow naturally if you look at the the end you see that it's thinner it's thinner around there and then fuller somewhere in the middle so for it to have like a natural finish it's always better to have the, for the brows to have um kind of a lighter finish from the beginning and then it gets darker you know so that's why most of the time when i fill in my brows with pencil or uh, with the brow gel or definer or whatever I use more of that in the outer corner than in the inner corner of my brows. Um, I think I've literally told you everything about eyebrows and then another mistake I feel people do is they use the, you know, like I said, because you want to highlight your brows, they use the light concealer, a lighter shade of concealer under their brows and then use the same lighter shade on top and they don't end up blending it you know and that that's always like an error for you to have like a natural finish i advise because i mean blending of concealers might not be all that easy some people use foundations i use foundation most of the time to you know highlight my uh, my under eye because it's it's easier to maneuver it's easier to manage concealers are, are of a you know denser composition than regular foundation so when you use your foundation it's easy for you to blend it out and it gives a natural finish even for the top one so, but i majorly advise that you use a light if you want to use a lighter shade under your brows please go ahead and do that but for the top of your brows i advise to avoid the mistake of having that white finish i think you should use your exact shade of foundation or concealer for the top brow to clean it up and all that so that's majorly my advice for brows so i think i've given a full tutorial about eyebrows um so when you watch the video <laughs> i'm not saying anything basically there but you can see what i mean um so right like i said this video is majorly about the eyebrows and i did this um um like a cut crease eyeshadow you're gonna see there and also my lip basically how to apply my own lip color um so i think that's it thank you for joining me once again let's go into uh the look right now enjoy the look and i hope you learn if you have any questions you can let me know we can talk about it we can have fun together um don't don't forget to like don't forget to share don't forget to subscribe don't forget to give it thumbs up and place your comment you know for this video thank you so much i really appreciate you guys god bless you bye